Although they may not seem terribly close on a traditional world map, if we turn the globe 180 degrees, we can see that the United States and Russia are only about 88 kilometers apart. And if we zoom in even closer, we'll see that the Russian island of Big Diomede and the US island of Little Diomede are just 3.8 kilometers apart, which is about the length of the Hollywood Walk of Fame. An 88 kilometer long bridge from Russia to the US may seem like a long bridge to build, but nowadays it isn't really at all that far. The Kangdi Bridge in China is 106 kilometers long, the Tianjin Grand Bridge is 113 kilometers long, the Changhua Kaohsiung Viaduct is 157 kilometers, and the Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge is a whopping 164 kilometers, almost double the distance between Russia and the US. In addition to this, if they were to use the Diomede Islands as intersections for the bridge construction, it would make a bridge between Russia and the US even easier. But wait, before you all go out and buy ammunition and supplies and start digging bomb shelters in preparation for war, there are actually some pretty good reasons why a bridge has never been built and why it probably never will be. Number 1. Climate Conditions Climate conditions in the area are harsh. During the winter months, the temperatures can easily plummet to minus 20 degrees centigrade in the winter, and the Bering Strait itself is generally frozen between mid-December and mid-June. This would limit the amount of time where construction could take place to around six months a year, effectively doubling the time it would take to complete the bridge. Number 2. US Infrastructure if we look at this map of Alaska, we can see roughly where the bridge would likely start, but we can't see anything close by. No quarries, no cement works, no steel works, shops, gas stations, there aren't even any roads to get you there. The nearest main road is over 800 kilometers away. Before construction on the bridge could even start, hundreds of millions of dollars would have to be spent on infrastructure to obtain the transport materials to the site. Now you're probably thinking, why not just start the bridge from the Russian side. Number 3. Russian Infrastructure On the Russian side, things are even worse. The nearest railway is over 3,000 kilometers away, and the nearest highway isn't even paved and is nearly 2,000 kilometers away. That's like trying to get from Houston, Texas to the Canadian border without roads. Number 4. No Benefits even if they did go ahead and spend billions of dollars setting up the infrastructure necessary to bring materials to the site and then spend the 105 billion dollars that the Discovery Channel estimates it would cost to build the bridge, who would use it? In order to get from Anchorage to anywhere of significance, you'd have to travel thousands and thousands of kilometers and flying would be a cheaper, quicker and much more enjoyable option. It wouldn't benefit the transportation of goods either because cargo ships can transport larger loads quicker and cheaper. Number 5. The Future with no obvious benefits and a lot of hefty problems, the construction of a Bering Strait bridge doesn't seem like a possible project for the future. However, it could be the route of a future Hyperloop transportation system, especially if engineers want to avoid having to cross oceans in order to connect with Asia and Europe. And if Elon Musk's vision of Mach 5 speeds ever becomes possible, a trip from Houston, Texas through the Bering Strait and on to Paris, France could take less than three hours. And so it seems that although the physical gap between both nations is incredibly small, the economical, cultural and political differences are too great and until both countries can find a common ground between them, there will be no common ground between them. Do you think there will ever be a bridge between Russia and USA? Let me know in the comments below!